Mr. Houston Chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson. We have Johnson here with us this morning, and Johnson's dad referred him in. Uh, Johnson's dad's been to, what, five or six other chiropractors? Yeah, at least. And he came here, and he liked it so much, he referred you in. Yes, sir. And you're not really having a lot of serious pains or aches. You just came in to get checked out and get lined up, right? That's right. And you've been to a chiropractor one time in Spain, is that correct? Yes, sir. So we're going to have you see what this adjustment's like differently. <laughs> I've already done your exam, so I'm going to just do part of it for him to show him what we do. Let's have you flex your head forward and backwards for me, please. Now see, he's, his head's a little bit forward and over to the left, stop at neutral, and to the left of center. And then his pelvis is shifted a little bit to the right of center, so he has a positive SX cervical and a negative SX pelvis biophysics listing. He's a little rotated, he sleeps on his side, I can tell. He even turns to the left most of the time. Is that right? Yes. Yep. So we again, like I said, we've already done his exam, but I want to point out a couple of highlights. Let's say, you lay on your tummy again. Now, usually when I check people's leg length initially, they are short on one side or the other, but his legs are exactly even right now. But this is an interesting finding. When I bring his legs up, you see how it gets shorter on the right by about half an inch, and that tightens up down in his low back and his left SI joint down here. And that's tender touch too, isn't it? And then he has L5 tender right there as well. He's got paraspinal muscle hypertonicity in his lower thoracic spine. So I'll definitely be doing a knee chest on him. Tender right there too, isn't it? He's got some ribs out of place here. By the way, he gets some costosternal pain right here where his ribs meet his sternum. He's got some upper thoracic tightness as well and subluxations at T4 and T5. That's tender on the right right there, on the left right there, and then his atlas is out up here, which gives him occasional headaches up into his occipital area and up into his temporal area. I'm going to have him lock his leg straight and lift his right leg off the table. Okay, good. Now do the left one. And see, you can see the left one doesn't go up as high, and that one's more difficult and more painful for him. So that tells me he's got a sacral deviation on the left. I'm not going to do all the rest of the other tests because it just takes too long. So I'm going to get started adjusting his low back and the SI joints first on the biophysics table. Now see, he's sitting on a wallet too, so for all you men out there, get off your wallets. Put those in your front pocket and get a money clip or something. I'm adjusting his sacrum on the left right now, superior to inferior. L5 straight P to A. L4 straight P to A. L3 with a slightly inferior to superior angle and P to A. There's L2 all the way up to L1. We're going to recheck his leg length now. His legs are still even down here and they should stay even here, which they do. Does that feel a little less tight than the first one? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, you're going to feel your head popping up a little bit on this next one. Good. Okay, let's turn you on your back now, please, sir. So Jonathan's smart. He's young, and he's coming in here uh, to prevent himself from having spinal disorders like his dad has when he gets older. And that's the very best way to utilize chiropractic as a lifestyle choice. Let's slide down this way just about an inch and put your arms straight out to the sides, palms facing up. I'm like Jesus. There you go. Adjust your shoulders. Did you feel that? Clavicles and your anterior ribs here. Now see, he's been having some costosternal pain right up front here where his ribs attach into his sternum. So I've adjusted his ribs in the front and the back. His legs remain even. Just relax this leg in my hand here. Now you should have felt oh, that yeah. your knee all the way up to your little back. Yeah. Good. There we go. Good. Okay. Let's sit you up and face this way, please. Okay. Mm. 
There we go. Good. Keep your chin up. I know she let your head drop a lot. Mm -hmm. That's just probably have it, but it's a bad one. That'll cause that neck to reverse in its curve, and that'll cause your neck and head to hurt. There we go. Well, you know he's going to crack out. He's going to love you, especially here in a minute. See, when I adjust someone, I get an autonomic nervous system response. That's why I feel your hands so sweaty a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's the autonomic nervous system and sympathetics going into play, affecting your sediferous glands, which are your sweat glands. Good. Okay, let's come over on this table next. Over here. I'm going to have you uh, get on your knees right here and put your face all the way up into this headpiece paper and let your spine just kind of sag. Now see, he's got a lot of stress right here in this thoracolumbar, just let it sag in gravity. Oh yeah. <laughs> Still got one more here. Yep, that's it. Okay, now let's come over on this table. That was a deep one, wasn't it? <laughs> but that's the first time you've ever had that done. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're gonna lay you down here on your butt, head up that way on your back. Right. Other back. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, some of you have been uh, trying to schedule new patient appointments by calling our number on our website. Uh, it's better if you go to our website, advancedhoustonchiropractor.com, and fill out a new patient request form. We're so busy that we don't really, Renee sometimes does not have time to answer the phone or she's shooting a video for me. Okay, relax your hands right there. And she will get back to you within 48 hours of filling out a new patient request form. Oh, yeah. oh my God. Oh. Yeah. That's the usual response on the first one of those. I felt that all the way down, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Just lay there and breathe. Okay. See, you're still kicking your arm. <laughs> wow. Yep. There we go. I got one more here. There. See, I know when I get them all. That's it. Good job. <laughs> I just broke loose some fibrotic adhesions and scar tissue in around your joints and your discs down there, so you'd be a little sore like a new workout. Oh, well, that's, yeah. That's normal. Okay, let's stand up over here in front of the mirror. Get up sideways. There you go. Stand right here for me. Oh. So you can tell your dad you got your first ring dinger today. <laughs> okay, let's close your eyes again, Johnson, and bend your head forward and backwards and remember how this feels. Okay, back to neutral. Look in the mirror right now. See, you're more centered up now. Wow. See how the space equaled <laughs> out? Oh, yeah. Yeah, pull these up and back, though. This is your homework. Hold those there. Flare these hands way back here. Your head forward and left, so be bringing it straight back a little bit right. <laughs> now, look back at the wall behind you. Full extension. I'm going to adjust your atlas right here. This sends a neurological bombardment of proprioceptive neurological impulses into your cerebellum. Relax. Which is your hind brain. That controls the balance. Relax. Okay, now bend your head forward and backwards again. This should feel smoother to you than the previous ones. Wow. Like I put a little WD-40 in there. That feel better? Take a look at how straight you're standing up right now. Wow. So that was a wow adjustment, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so this is your very first visit here at Advanced Chiropractic Relief. And a lot of our YouTube fans always want to hear what the very first time <laughs> spinal decompression feels like. So I haven't, we haven't pre-rehearsed yeah. any of this, so uh, you can tell them. It was a little shocking. Um, it was unexpected. It, it feels really good and very sore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it was very surprising to see the difference, uh, natural difference between when I, before and after, how I'm just standing. It's crazy. So. Yeah. Does your headache and neck feel better? Yeah, much, much better. The tension is totally shifted. So. And how does this compare with the adjustment you got in Spain? It's a lot different. And more comprehensive? Definitely more comprehensive, body? yes. Yeah. Definitely a lot more books on different details. Okay, good. Well, thank you for sharing your story, Jonathan. Tell your dad yeah. thank you for referring you in here. Uh, people like Jonathan, we don't 
in fact, we don't put any of our patients on big long treatment programs. We see people and get them stable and, and functioning and get them back to living their lives. So, you know, we're not going to put him on some big long treatment program. He's just going to come in whenever he feels less than as good as he feels right now or when the soreness wears off that you're going to feel that good. Yeah. And then you, if you feel less than that, that's when you call and get in on an as-needed basis. Well, I appreciate that. Very good. It's a nice meeting you, Johnson. This Thank is you. your Houston <laughs> chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, coming to you from Advanced Chiropractic Relief in Houston, Texas. And you don't have to have severe pain to come in here. And make sure you go to our website, advancedhoustonchiropractor.com, and fill out a new patient request form. Do not call our number. It's quicker to get in here filling out a new patient request form. We'll see you soon.